Okay, so I was, uh, I, I got an email from one of the guys going through the blueprint on the website. If you don't know what the blueprint is, it is a 30 session, like step by step guide on everything you need to know to get yourself from the starting point with square to square swing all the way through making full swings with driver and taking it on the course. It is a great plan. Like if you've, if you've never had a practice plan or like, uh, you know, your practice or, or what you're going to do to get better, if you've never had that laid out for you, this is an awesome thing to have. So you can go to samgoldengolf.com and just click on the blueprint. You'll see more of what I'm talking about. But anyway, one of the features of being a member of the blueprint is at a certain level, you get access to me, meaning you can send me your swing, you can send me a video of your swing as you're going through the blueprint and I'll kind of just keep you on track. I'll make sure you're doing the right things, make sure you're making the swing you think you're making. A lot of times when we're working on something, what we think we're doing and what we're actually doing in real life um, can be kind of different. And it's great just to film your swing and, and in that way, if you're filming it to send to me, you'll probably see some things in your swing that um, you'll, you'll notice right away. You'll be like, I'm not doing that right. But then when you send it to me, I can say, okay, you're, you're doing this close, you're not quite right, let's see if we can get this feeling. So that's what I did um, for this last guy that, that sent me the message today. <coughs> and that's what I do for everybody who's in the blueprint. If you send me a video of your swing, I'll critique it and I'll, I'll help you get on to the next step or I'll help you get on to that next session and make sure you're not wasting time. So what was happening for him, um, and this happens to a lot of people I think, as he was going through impact, he was actually setting up really, really well. He had the, his left arm and the shaft on a great line um, at a dress. And then as he was coming through impact, he was getting on that line again. So his backswing was really good. He was getting a good full turn. He had a good club face at the top of his backswing. And then at impact, he had a really nice line at impact. So I know he's compressing it. But after impact, you start to see the club kind of flip a little bit, his left elbow bend, and the club kind of finishing up high, and his head's kind of still down. And I think. In a lot of golf instruction, we get this, keep your head down, keep your head down, and it's changing. I think the modern sort of clan of golf instructors is, is getting away from that keep your head down idea, and mainly because if you do keep your head really fixed down on the ball, your club is going to fly by and flip, and, and this, you know, this, this doesn't look good or natural for anyone, right? You can tell that's not right. We'd look a lot better if we were in a position like that. So. What I said to this uh, in response to this video today was what I tell most of you guys or would tell just about everybody, go ahead and let your chin or your eyes or your head follow the club head through impact and into your finished position. So as you're going through, just let your head swivel and follow the club head so that you're facing the target. And the other thing I told him was to really feel like he, he stands up. Because in this position, in his finish, he was kind of crouched down. You could see his left knee was still kind of bent and his, his left arm was kind of collapsed against his side. So I wanted him to just get the feeling of standing up and really finishing tall and on his left side and with his chest facing the target. So rather than kind of staying down and keeping your head down and looking at the ball, you're just gonna feel more sort of standing up. Let your head kind of turn with the club head and I'll go ahead and hit one so you can see what it looks like. So that finish has me really on my left side, has me standing tall, has my chest facing the target. And because I'm doing that, because I'm rotating faster, A, it's gonna add a little zip to my club head, it's gonna give me some club head speed, but B, it's gonna keep that club head from flipping over and moving all around, which is gonna create more consistency. So I hope this helps. Um, not only does it feel better to swing that way when you're kind of just standing up and feeling really tall and free, it's going to help your club head speed and it's also going to help your ball striking.